I'm Keith Cake. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. A shocking case of child abuse in Polk County. James Malone is facing nearly 200 felony charges for allegedly having child pornography on his computers and much worse. Detectives tell us some are the images of him molesting two-year-old boys and there could be more victims. Melissa Marino joins us now live from the suspect's home in Bartow. And Melissa, the sheriff says he had it all set up there to attract children. This is awful stuff. Absolutely. It's really terrible. Just take a look around his yard. Look at the toys, cars, scooters, a playhouse over there, a trampoline. The sheriff says all to lure children into his sick world. We're told James Malone had a secret room in his home. Inside, he would do horrible things with children. He wouldn't allow his wife to go in. Malone has been in jail since July when he was busted in a child pornography sting. It's a clue when you've got 52 different devices. As detectives were going through everything, they found 4,500 child porn images. Even worse, some of the photos were Malone molesting little boys. At least two of them have been identified, both only two years old. Sheriff Grady Judd says Malone had access to at least 23 children through his business, J&K Carpet Cleaning. He liked to recruit young ladies who had small children. He had no clue. Neighbor Nancy Samples is shocked. It's hard to talk about because it's just not something you would expect from someone that you're close to it. Her grandchildren played at Ballone's home. She's relieved it doesn't appear they were abused. The detective talked to him. They seen the therapist and they've been cleared. Others may not be so lucky. Sheriff Judd wants to find them and make sure Ballone stays behind bars. We want to bury this guy under so many criminal charges that he can never, ever, ever get out. Ballone's first arrest for sexually abusing a child occurred when he was just 20. The sheriff thinks because of that, there could be many, many more victims. So if your child has ever come into contact with him, you are urged to call the sheriff's office. Stacy And Melissa, how about Ballone's wife? Do we think she knew anything about the alleged abuse? Is she facing charges? As of now, she is not facing charges. She told detectives she had no idea any crimes were taking place. Melissa Marino, so disturbing, live in Polk County tonight. Thank you.